Good morning. It is foggy out this morning and Heather and I have come to the gravel road that leads to the Summit Knobs Equestrian Trail where we hope to do some birding. Look at this fog. Maybe you can see it over this way. It is really foggy, but uh, we've started out and well, as soon as we came in, we got in the car, both of us in the passenger seat, and we heard uh, Eastern Tohi. And I think we got an extremely tiny in the frame shot of a singing male Eastern Tohi. I actually got out of the car and walked closer to get my singing Eastern Tohi male photograph. Heather stayed in the car, so hers was from quite a bit further away, and she had to crop quite a bit more. Look, there's a kudzu vine growing on that tree, I think. We found our favorite little warbler, the prairie warbler, in this bush right here and made lots and lots of pictures. And then the prairie warbler moved into this brush and we got a few pictures of it. It's still there, it's singing, did you hear it? Uh, anyway, then we got some pictures of the prairie warbler in this brush. We love the prairie warbler and this is our, I think our first prairie warbler of the season. We got kind of carried away with the prairie warbler photos, but it's such a beautiful little bird and this one was so close. Some of these shots, like this one, for example, we're not even using the whole lens. That's a 400 millimeter shot. And look at all the amazing colors and the stripes, and it's so bright and contrasty. So we took lots and lots of pictures, and we shared lots and lots of pictures, like this one where it's beautifully singing. And in this next shot, you can tell it's on a blackberry vine, and it's saying one day these blackberries are going to be good to eat, but right now they're not ripe. But we thought the prairie warbler was going to be the bird of the day. And if you go by the number of shots of birds, the prairie warbler, I guess, is the bird of the day. But you'll see later in this video, there's another bird that we're less likely to be able to photograph again later this summer. That's probably the bird of the day. And we actually made that bird the thumbnail. So there's a hint. And here is the prairie warbler pretending to be an eastern towhee singing on the top of a tree. And same bird, same perch. I just moved a little bit to get a different background of the beautiful prairie warbler singing its heart out on the top of the tree. And here it is on a nice sticker bush or briar. We love the prairie warbler. Heather's using her R7 and the RF 100 to 500 lens. And that's what I've started with. But I also brought my 1.4 teleconverter and my 800 F11, which... If I get desperate, I may put those on. But so far, we're both using our favorite birding setup, the R7 and the 100 to 500. Here are Heather's prairie warbler shots, and we were just so thrilled to see this little bird, especially to see it so close. You know, it's fairly easy this time of year to find and photograph a prairie warbler, but we were getting really, really close to this one, and that was a lot of fun. So Heather made a photograph there on the blackberry bush, and there you can see the brown on the back of this prairie warbler, which I think means it's a male. Oh, and look, there is an inchworm that Heather captured. I think that is fantastic. I captured a shot like that, but the inchworm was out of focus, so I didn't share it. And here is one last prairie warbler photo. Lots more birds coming. Next, we got a field sparrow that was right here in this brush. And it's only about, I don't know, 50 or 75 yards up the road from where we got the prairie warbler. This is a great place for birding in May. Here are my field sparrow photographs and Heather and I each found three when we went through our files. We found three that we liked enough to share with you. And here's the second one of mine. I just love the colors of this bird. I always mention that when I share a field sparrow picture, but I think this time of year, they're even more beautiful than normal. And here are Heather's photos. You can always tell Heather's pictures because they will have her name in the bottom right of the image. And she did a really nice job capturing and editing these field sparrow photographs that we found there on the side of the road at the Summit Knobs Equestrian Trailhead Gravel Road. What a wonderful bird sanctuary it is. Well, this morning's turning out to be really good. Uh, although it, this area is backlit, we definitely got uh, a first of season yellow-breasted chat right over in this region. This is probably another 150 or so yards up the road, maybe 200. Here is the yellow-breasted chat. It's gotten to be one of our favorite birds over the last two or three years that we've been photographing them. They're a little bit bigger than the prairie warbler, but not a lot bigger. And what about that bright yellow breast they have? And they're really appropriately named because their song is just all over the place. They've got uh, some screeching sounds and some beautiful singing. Now on this shot, I, I prepared two versions for you. One that shows a lot of the surroundings 
And the second version, same shot, is much more up close of the yellow-breasted chat. And now here are Heather's photos of the yellow-breasted chat. She did a great job photographing the yellow-breasted chat. And we were shooting out of the left side of the car, the driver's side of the car. But it flew to the other side of the road and had much better sun angle for this shot that Heather made of the yellow-breasted chat. And then it came back to the backlit area where we were doing the best we could with the light we had. One of our favorite things about the gravel road that leads to the Summit Knobs Equestrian Trail is right behind us. It's a public restroom. And right over there, we got a bird. What was it, Heather? It was a summer tanager, first of the season, male and female. Oh, cool, yeah. Uh, did you get a clear shot of the female? Oh yeah, I've got some of the female. I, I, from where I was in the front seat, I, I don't think I got a clear shot. I definitely got a shot, but not a clear shot. Good job. Thanks. Look at that beautiful male summer tanager. Now this is a bird that we photographed a few times, but nowhere near as many as we have the prairie warbler, which is much more common, at least in our experience. And they are sexually dimorphic, which means the females are a different color. Here's the female, different color than the males, but still very beautiful. Here comes Heather's photographs. She got several of the male summer tanager. She loves these birds. As a matter of fact, in her office where she works, she has a painting of summer tanagers in there. So she was really happy to see the summer tanagers and so was I. And that's why the summer tanager is the bird of the day. Even though we got more photographs of the prairie warbler and Heather had a much better angle on this shot than me. Mine, it was completely blocked from where I was. And a lot of our shots were blocked kind of like this one, but it was still super cute hiding in the foliage. And also there was a young bunny rabbit that Heather made a photograph of that turned out really cute there hiding in the shadows. A lot of times in this little field beside the road, we get indigo bunting. But today we got the other unusual bluebird for the area. We got a blue grosbeak right here just now. Really thick um, grass, usually some of it in front of the shot. So I, I'm pretty sure we didn't get any clear shots, but I think we definitely got a shot or two. There's the blue grass beak. And I think it is not as common as the indigo bunting that we also photograph a lot of times in this same area. Here's my second photograph of the blue grass beak. And Heather got some as well. You know, it may be pronounced gross beak. I don't really know. And hers came out really nice. She was really struggling because I couldn't get the car moved to where there wasn't grass in the way of the bird. But this one turned out really great, I thought, of the blue gross beak. Well, we just got a great crested flycatcher. Um, pretty backlit, but uh, just a beautiful little bird. Lots of really nice colors in the great crested flycatcher. We just saw the great crested flycatcher for just a moment. And I wasn't really happy with my photograph, but I thought Heather did a fantastic job with hers. She was a little bit behind me in the back seat of the car, so she had a clearer shot and she just did a better job all the way around. That's gonna do it for us here at the Summit Knobs Equestrian Trail. We hope you like the content. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Show them a thumbs up, Heather. <laughs> and subscribe and hit the bell. We ended up using the 100 to 500 and the R7, nothing else today. Ended up being a really good day. We hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a bunch. And we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.